guys today i'm going to be reviewing this asus x540s series laptop so as you can see this laptop's pretty big it only weighs 2 kg though so it's pretty light um so let me just open this up and show it to you so as you can see the laptop is pretty nice from inside it has a 15 inch screen a really nice and responsive keyboard which i'll show you later on in the video how fluid it is and it's just really good all around as you can see the design is really good it's really strong and durable and it has a lot of really cool features and that i have to show you so first of all let's talk about the processor so this laptop right here has an intel n n3050 uh, processor which has two cores and it clocks up to 2.16 gigahertz which is pretty decent you know it's not that bad and it can do some pretty nice stuff like you know editing not extreme editing like sony vegas or stuff like that really complicated professional softwares but it can do editing for softwares like um you know hit film express which i'll show you in this video and it works pretty well so let's get into the port so as you can see this laptop has some pretty nice ports it has a dc in usb c reversible port has an ethernet connection hdmi and two usb ports so now on this side it doesn't really have much going on it doesn't have a cd drive which is quite unfortunate but it's a digital age so that doesn't really matter much and it has some really nice speakers as well now as you can see this laptop has some sonic master speakers which sounds really good okay they sound really nice and it also has 500 gigs of hdd and it has memory of 2 gigabytes now there is a difference between memory and hdd i'm sure all of you know that HD is the storage and memory is the RAM. So it has two gigs of DDDR4 RAM, which is really useful. You can upgrade it, but unfortunately for this laptop, if we turn it over, there's no actual slot for us to upgrade it. So you will have to give it into a hardware store and they'll upgrade it for you. Or if you can do it at home, that's also nice. So it is expandable you can expand the memory in this as you can see that logo looks really nice now as as you can see this is the startup screen right here it's starting and i also forgot to mention that there's a little camera there i think it's only like five megapixels or something it's not nothing too special so you'll have to add a you know a webcam of your own so yeah let's just start this up and i'll uh, see you guys in a minute so as you guys can see this is this this is the screen when the laptop starts completely you know just it runs pretty smoothly no lag whatsoever i do have a bunch of apps right here google chrome firefox and stuff like that this is a windows 10 by the way uh, windows 10 home it's actually pretty good and it's really fluid and fast so let me just show you how fluid and fast the keyboard is so right here I have notepad and, I, and I'm just going to type something, you know, let's, you know, let's just type a command, you know, echo, uh, echo, hey there, echo, how are you doing, how are you doing, echo, please subscribe. So yeah, as you can see right here, I was able to type this command right here pretty quickly. Now I am going to make a video on this and how to make a command and you know, how to prank your friends with this stuff. So yeah, uh, don't miss that video. I will be uploading it in a couple of days. So as you can see, I did type this entire command right here in a very short amount of time. It took me like 30 seconds or something, maybe even less. But yeah, as you can see, I can still type pretty easily. Echo, I see. So yeah, that just shows you how fluid the keyboard is. You know, I can just type whatever, and so yeah, the keyboard is very responsive as you can see. And you know, if you're a person who loves to type fast, 
I really do recommend this laptop. I mean, most laptops these days they do have some really nice keyboards. I really, I really like these keyboards right here with the little stubby keys. And they're really, really responsive and nice to the touch. Okay, so, so guys, now I'm going to be showing you how good the speakers are in this. Now the speaker quality is pretty decent, you know, it's not something as good as, you know, a speaker or a high-end gaming laptop or, you know, maybe even an iPhone because those things have really good speakers. But over here, you know, the volume, it can reach pretty high sounds you know, it's this can get pretty, pretty loud. So, yeah, I'm just going to be showing you an NCS song right here. And yeah, so when I play this. Now, let me show you how loud it can get. So yeah, that was just, uh, you know, that was just to give you an idea of how the speakers sound. They sound pretty clear to me. You know, it might not sound as good on video, but, you know, once you actually listen to this in real life, it will sound really good. So guys, as you can see, right now I'm in HitFilm 4 Express. It's a really cool editing software. Maybe I will make a tutorial on how I edit my videos. So yeah, let's just get right into this. I'll show you how fluidly you can edit in the software. So guys, as you can see right now, I'm in the editor right here. I'm just going to be editing this clip right here. Not completely, you know, I'm not going to put you through all of this. But yeah, I'm just going to be showing you how you can edit this stuff. This is just a 12 second clip. So yeah, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to pick up some simple tools and I'm just going to slice up this video a little bit. Just show you how it's done. So there you go. I trim that. Now I use the selection tool. Select that. Delete that. And put the timeline back. And yeah, that's just my brother clown clowning around. So yeah, look at that. So yeah, you can basically do some really nice editing work in here. Hit film for express. I definitely would recommend you use this software but it is quite useful you know for work and stuff like that so le let me just give you a quick rundown of you know some of the specs that this computer comes with so yeah so yeah guys as you can see uh, these are the specs that that the computer comes with these are not all of them but yeah these are just the basic ones that you need to know before you buy a laptop so as you can see intel dual core n3050 at 2.16 gigahertz so it only weighs 2 kilograms 2 gigabytes of ddr4 ram 500 gb hdd and windows 10 so let me just show you the amazon pricing so yeah guys as you can see this is the amazon pricing of this exact laptop right here as you can see it's 17,990 basically 18,000 rupees guys in dollars that's around hmm, let's see here in dollars that's around 252 so yeah, basically this is a 250 dollar laptop i mean you're getting a lot of good stuff in that much money and i mean in rupees 17,000 for a laptop is actually really really good it's a really good deal. I'll be leaving the link if you want to buy this in this in the description below. So you can go buy this. It's a really nice laptop and it can do some really cool stuff. So as you can see right here, the exact same laptop that I showed you. This is the updated version of the laptop. It has a better processor. It has an Intel Ceron N4000 and this time 4 gigs of RAM and it has it still has 500 gigabytes and windows 10 but yeah it is the updated version this one that i have right here is around you know i think a year old it only has two gigs of ram but this one is the updated version 
so yeah i'll be leaving the link in the description below so guys anyway that will be it for this video thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed and um i hope you thank you so much for watching this video if you enjoyed it don't forget to leave a like and comment and let me know in the comments below what uh, what computer i should review next what laptop i should review next what device i should review next and i will greatly appreciate it if you like this video again the link will be in this the description below if you want to buy this laptop again thanks for watching subscribe and i'll see you guys next time